Thanks for staying with us. This is Business Incorporated on Channels Television, INBC Adibayo. On today's program, Nigeria's billionaire industrialist Aliko Dangote plans to invest between about $50 billion in the U.S. and Europe by 2025. Plus, United States tells Nigeria to intensify diversification from oil to benefit more from Agoa. And Standard Bank of South Africa reports 11% rise in first half 2017 profit. But we kick up from the markets here in Africa, where all the indices are down at intraday. The Nigerian All Share Index is still pointing southwards at 36,039.17, while the South African Bursa passed to be giving up yesterday's gains at 49,198.17. Egypt's index is also down 0.07%. The Kenyan index closed 1.14% lower on Wednesday. And stock markets in the Gulf rose early on Thursday, with Saudi Arabia's index gaining strength from positive company-specific news. Elsewhere, the Dubai index was almost unchanged, with activity dominated by union properties up 3.6% and GFH Financial, which added 1.1%. Abu Dhabi's index was down 0.1% at intraday. Qatar's index added 0.9%. And let's head to Wall Street now, where U.S. stock futures are pointing high on Thursday as investors digest the latest Federal Reserve minutes and President Donald Trump's decision to disband, disband a pair of his advisory business funnels. Futures for the Dow Jones Industrial Average were up 0.1% to 22,024.87, while those for the S&P 500 Index rose 0.14%. Futures for the Nasdaq 100 index are 0.19% higher at 6,345.11. Meanwhile, Asian equity benchmarks finished mixed on Thursday after initially extending this week's gains a bit further as minutes of the Federal Reserve's meeting revealed a deeper than expected divide on the timing of the next interest rate increase. Australia's main index gave up 0.1%. Meanwhile, helping Korea's Kospi was a 1.8% rebound in Samsung amid broad early strength for tech stocks in general. In Hong Kong, the biggest tech stock, Tencent, jumped to fresh record highs as its second quarter results were notably stronger than analysts expected. But that helped limit losses for the Hang Seng Index. U.S. President Donald Trump disbanded two high-profile business advisory councils after corporate CEOs quit in protest at his remarks blaming violence in Charlottesville, Virginia, not only to white nationalists, but also on the protesters who opposed them. Trump announced the dissolution of the American Manufacturing Council and Strategic and Policy Forum after a series of chief executives abandoned the panels. President Trump said on Twitter, rather than putting pressure on the business people of the Manufacturing Council and Strategy and Policy Forum, I am ending both. This announcement came within an hour of reports that one of the groups, a forum of top finance and business executives, was planning to disband. Mr. Trump posted several tweets about disbanding the American Manufacturing Council and Strategic and Policy Forum and several CEOs who had resigned. Some of the CEOs from a manufacturing council also tweeted about their resignation. They include Merck CEO Kenneth Frazier, Intel CEO Brian, Campbell Soup CEO Dennis Morris, 3M CEO Chilling, Under Armour CEO Kevin Plank, and Alliance for American Manufacturing President Scott N. Paul. The Strategic and Policy Forum was headed by Blackstone Group CEO Stephen Schwartzman, a close ally of Trump in the business world. <clears throat> Schwarzman organized a call on Wednesday for member executives to voice concerns after Trump's comment and an overwhelming majority backed disbanding the council. Schwarzman then called Trump to tell him about the decision to disband and the president subsequently announced he was the one pulling the plug on the panels. In Saturday's violence, there were clashes between white nationalists staging a rally in Charlottesville and anti-racist activities opposing them. A woman was killed when a car plowed into the counter-protesters. But in spite of all these, 
Analysts believe that the disbanding of the council doesn't mean corporate America will fully turn its back on Trump. Businesses are still hoping that the administration can move ahead with corporate tax reforms and infrastructure spending. European investors swung their attention to the Federal Reserve as minutes from the central bank's July meeting released late Wednesday raised the prospect that the Fed may not raise interest rates again this year. Investors are also watching what follows U.S. President Donald Trump's disbandment of the Manufacturing Council. DWTV Channel's TV financial correspondent Orange Bass is at the Frankfurt Stock Exchange to tell us more about the markets today. Thanks, Orish, for your time. How is the U.S. President Trump's disbandment of his Manufacturing Advisory Council resounding across the markets? Yeah, it's not uh, seen as a great advantage uh, for the United States or for the president. People here are very critical. And uh, frankly, when you talk to them uh, without being able to quote them word by word, unfortunately, uh, they're quite simply aghast uh, at what they're he hearing from the U.S. president. And uh, it's also a dangerous game uh, that he's playing, alienating big business. And it's not just big business. These people uh, have influence. Um, they're, they're being prodded. Partly, uh, perhaps all of them as well, by employees, by shareholders, uh, by customers, to act ethically and to uh, contradict the president uh, in this way. And uh, they also have, of course, influence with Congress, with members of Congress, uh, with local administrations. And so uh, by losing support here and practically bringing them to the other side, uh, Donald Trump uh, is, in, in a way, positioning himself against business. And uh, it's surprising, really, that the markets themselves, the share prices, bond prices, aren't reacting more strongly to this because it makes somehow more difficult or it makes it seem more difficult for the president to push through uh, business-friendly parts of his uh, political agenda. Is there anything new in the latest Fed minutes as the ECB also releases its own minutes of the last meeting? Yeah, the, uh, uh, the minutes are having a big influence on the market. I wouldn't say on the overall trend um, here in Europe. The euro stocks and the DAX are basically uh, trading flat. Uh, many bourses uh, here in Europe, okay, but bank stocks are not. Um, they're going down. Uh, if you look at um, 